The U.S. Navy has been developing a new class of aircraft carriers known as the Ford class, which includes the U.S. Gerald R. Ford, the first ship of the class commissioned in 2017. The Ford class carriers are designed to replace the Nimitz class carriers and incorporate new technologies and features to enhance their capabilities. The testing of the U.S. Gerald R. Ford involved a series of trials to evaluate the ship's systems, including its propulsion, navigation, and communication systems. as well as its ability to launch and recover aircraft. The ship's electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear were also tested during these trials, which are important components of the ship's aviation operations. Overall, the development and testing of the Ford-class carriers are important for maintaining the U.S. Navy's ability to project power and maintain a strong presence around the world. These ships are designed to operate in a variety of situations and provide the U.S. military with a powerful tool for national defense and international diplomacy. In a range to secure the lines of exchanges and the ocean paths, stay open political and military pioneers of marine countries extend their control at ocean. And nothing speaks to more noteworthy quality than the nearness of an airplane carrier, the foremost important sea-based resource that ventures both strategic disgust control and anti-surface fighting. On today's Include, we'll see into a few of the biggest flying machine carriers as of now voyaging over the tremendous sea and what these ships are able of. Flying machine carriers are worked by 14 naval forces around the world changing in measure and capabilities the airplane carriers can dispatch their discus powers in three ways. The catapult helped take off obstruction, captured recuperation or catabar. The brief takeoff boundary captured recuperation or stow bar and the brief takeoff and vertical landing. The U.S. Naval Force with the most noteworthy armada of flying machine carriers around the world works 11 expansive nuclear-powered carriers all with cattle bar capability. The Gerald R. Passage Course assigned CAN-78 and CAN-79 can carry more than 75 airship and more than 4,500 group on board. Rather than employing a steam-powered catabar framework, the Gerald or Passage Lesson is prepared with an electromagnetic flying machine dispatch framework and advanced arresting equip. The Mammoth vessel incorporates a full-stack relocation of 100,000 tons, making it the world's greatest aircraft carrier. Development of the two completed carriers of this lesson took four a long time each to total. with the Gerald or Portage propelled in 2013, taken after by John F. Kennedy in 2019. Its two A1B nuclear reactors offer 250 more electrical supply than its predecessor, the Nimitz-class carrier. The Nimitz-class with a full load displacement of 97,000 tons is the world's second largest aircraft carrier after the Gerald or Ford class. Named after Admiral Chester Nimitz, a total of 10 carriers of this class have been in operation with the US Navy since 1975. Anywhere between 60 aircraft operates from the 4.5-acre flight deck that is equipped with a steam-powered catabar system, while the remaining 30 are parked in the below-deck hangar. Also powered by two nuclear reactors that spin the four propeller shafts the Nimitz class 
can reach a top speed of more than 30 knots. Both the Geralder Ford and Nimitz-class aircraft carriers have been constructed by Newport News Shipbuilding Company in Virginia. The construction of the supercarriers has been refined since its first build in the 1950s. The supercarriers are constructed in separate modular pieces called superlifts that contain compartments and components of the ship. About 200 of these superlifts are built separately. Each weighing between 80 to 900 tons, the superlifts are then placed and welded into their designated position in the ship. With the 575-ton islands stepped last onto the flight deck, The Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carrier of the United Kingdom is the third largest aircraft carrier. With a displacement of 65,000 tons constructed by sales group Babcock International and BAE Systems Maritime, the first vessel of this class began construction in 2009 and only started her sea trial in 2017. Hems Queen Elizabeth is the largest warship built for the Royal Navy, perhaps the newest aircraft carrier voyaging across the maritime. Over 3 million meters of cable installed 80,000 pipes tested and 300 systems commissions. The state-of-the-art carrier has the latest technology and automated systems fitted which streamline the manpower requirement of about 679 crew to accommodate the operation of 40 rotary and fixed wings aircraft. Designed for short takeoff and vertical landing, the aircraft carrier mainly hosts the operation of their Merlin helicopters and the F-35 Bits aircraft utilizing the jet blast deflector and the 13 degrees bow deck ski jump ramp for takeoff. The carrier is also designed to accommodate the cattle bar system should the Royal Navy decide to convert it to conventional takeoff and landing operation. A carrier truly represents the pillar of power and tremendous operational capabilities of the operating nation. The scale and technology invested in the newest aircraft carriers are far more superior and advanced than the first carriers. It is an outstanding asset that allows nations to display their prowess and relevance in the volatile maritime world of the 21st century. That's the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content, see you next time.